Hey Pisces and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look into your past, your current energy and your future and we're going to see what the universe would like you to know at this time. So let's get straight into it and see what messages we have for you. Okay, two cards just came out so we'll take those. Let's get one more, okay. Okay, in your past energy we have the devil, the emperor and the ace of swords. Okay, Pisces, I'm seeing here that you're not the person you used to be. You're not the same as you once were. And I think that there was a lot of things that happened to you that changed you. I get the feeling that you'd always give so much to others. You could have even been seen as quite naive in your past. You could have given chances to people that didn't truly deserve it. Maybe stayed in situations that you knew deep down were toxic for you. They weren't right. They weren't aligning with your true morals. Now, with the emperor being here, you always knew this. It wasn't as if, you know, you thought that these people were right for you. You thought that this was going to be forever. I'm not picking up on that energy. It's like you knew deep down your intuition was always telling you that this wasn't going to be where you was forever. This wasn't right for you. And it wasn't that you didn't know that. It wasn't that you were planning on staying in this situation forever. It was just more of a case of putting the action in to get out of this. Now, I think that the longer you surrounded yourself with these things, people that didn't align to who you were, you started to feel yourself almost getting irritated. And it's not because... You didn't like these people. It wasn't that. It wasn't the fact of you trying to be horrible. It's quite hard to explain. But it's like you were irritated by you being in a situation that you knew deep down wasn't forever. You knew it wasn't working towards your dreams. You knew that this wasn't something that you wanted to stay in. And yet you found it very hard to escape this. So yeah, it's like a conflict here because inside you knew you didn't want this. You knew that it didn't align with your future. On the outside, however, it was very hard to pull yourself out of this situation. And I think that's where the devil comes into this because it's almost like this self-enslavement. It's very hard to get out of, even though you knew it wasn't good for your soul. It wasn't helping you on your journey. Yeah, it was a feeling of almost like you were stuck but knowing that you were the one in control of this. So yeah, with this Ace of Swords here, you could have found yourself becoming a lot more cold. I think, you know, Pisces are known to be very giving, have a big heart and see the best in people. But over time, I think by being around the wrong people, the wrong situations, you started to feel yourself emotionally disconnect. And yeah, it was because deep down, you knew that there was something else out there for you that would suit you a lot better and help you with your spiritual journey. So let's have a deeper look into this, Pisces. Let's clarify. Oh, these two wanting to come out. So we have the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so... You've always had that ability that if you truly care about something, if you have a passion, you will work very hard and you can be very determined. And you know, as much as Pisces like to live in their fantasy land and have all these dreams, they can also make it happen. If they're determined enough, if they really want something, then there's not much that's going to be able to stand in the way of that. Now I see you here almost starting to dive into that, starting to see that you wanted to put yourself first. You wanted to start focusing on this future that you'd always envisioned. And I think that was helping you here. It was helping you get the mentality that you needed to escape from this energy that wasn't right for you. So you started, you know, manifesting, putting out into the universe what it was that you wanted. And bit by bit, you started to see little opportunities coming into your life. 
It's like when you were asking God, when you were asking spirit to show you a sign, it was happening. It was coming through and that was helping you. And we have the high priestess. Okay, so yeah, something here was setting you free. Now, I truly believe that you had to go through these experiences. You had to be in certain things that weren't good, times in your life that were very difficult. You could have even reached points of depression where you felt like it was very hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. This was part of your journey. This was something that higher power needed you to go through, needed you to see this darkness, the pain that life can bring. And I think that's because you're the sign of the healer. You know, I'm a Pisces myself and we understand pain. We understand how it feels to be in that place. And that's why we're able to help others, why we can heal the way that we do, because we've seen that, we've been there, we've been through the darkness. And I see you here coming out the other side. I see you tapping into your spirituality, what really matters to you. And it's like it's saving you here, it really is. And you wouldn't have understood. You wouldn't have appreciated a lot of the things that you have now if you hadn't have gone through this. You had to see that pain. You had to go so far into it so that you could reach a higher level than most people will. And you are protected by spirit. I think spirit knew that what you want is different to a lot of people, that you're not going to be satisfied with the same day-to-day -day routines that others are. You're reaching for something higher and to get to where you wanna be, you need to have this experience, you need to have this wisdom, this knowledge. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles. I see you here, like it's like, you started manifesting something and then you started focusing on it and you was like, I'm going to do this. And you were doing it not only to prove to other people, but to prove to yourself that you're going to get yourself out of this hole. You know, you were sick of feeling the way you felt and knowing deep down that it was you that was in control of that. And you took your power back, Pisces. You started to see that the only way you were going to come out of this was by taking matters into your own hands, by believing that you can do anything that you want. We have the breathing rose, heart healing, emotions, connections, time eases. So yeah, I think that time did change you. It really did. There were certain things you had seen. You saw how not everyone's the same of you. Not everyone has good intentions. You witnessed that for yourself. And you started to understand through your life that nobody else was going to be able to save you. No one was going to bring you this peace that you were searching for. Only you could do that. So you switched the focus. And a lot of people felt the disconnect. They were like, where's Pisces gone? What has happened with Pisces? Did I offend her? And I think in some ways, a lot of the people that you used to surround yourself with, they didn't appreciate you. They didn't believe in you. And as much as you can see that now, I don't think you blame them. I think that at that time in your life, you didn't believe in yourself either. You didn't realize your full potential. You knew deep down there was something more. You knew you didn't want to be stuck in the situation you were in forever, but you didn't realize just how powerful you were. And you've surprised a lot of people, Pisces. You have got people talking. A lot of people see that you're making moves. They feel as though they don't know what you're going to do next. And you could even have a lot of people from your past that are checking your social media or just asking mutual people what's going on with you if they've heard from you because people always feel like you've just 
ghosted. You've completely gone off the radar. In your current energy, we have the Nine of Swords, Strength, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords. Okay, we've got a lot of swords here and the Eight of Wands. You're dealing with something at the moment, a situation that is bringing up pain. The thing is, Pisces, you have this strength, this inner strength, you've already tapped into it. You've already came out the other side from the lows that you have felt. And yeah, as much as what you're going through right now, it could have been something that's happened quite quickly. It's come in when you weren't expecting it. It's got you in your head about something. You're overthinking a lot. You are... You're really in your mind going over something again and again and again. There's somebody here that you need to watch out for. Someone that wants what you have. They can see that you've got to where you are now, but they don't understand how it is you've done that. And they, they have a lot of jealousy. They have feelings that they're not admitting to you. This person, their true colours, they're going to be revealed. Now, be very careful, Pisces, who it is that you're telling your business to. And I say this because I get the feeling that there's somebody here that you could be sharing your pain with, talking to about something that you're going through. And this person, it's like they want to take this pain, take these stories that you're telling them, you know, take your words and manipulate that in some way. Turn that on you. And with the Three of Swords here, it could be because there's some type of involvement with the heart. This person that has these bad feelings towards you, it's almost one of them situations where they hate you, but it's because they actually love you. They have this love for you. They see a lot of things in you that they wish that they had, that they like. And yeah, it's, it's a strange one because... You, they don't actually hate you. I think that they see things that you've accomplished. They see your mentality. And it's something that they want. Now, this person, they, they're they not showing you this true intentions just yet. However, there could be somebody that you are picking up a certain vibe from that you feel when you're around them that maybe something is missing, a piece to the puzzle is missing. It just doesn't fit right. And you can sense that, but you don't know exactly what it is that your intuition is trying to tell you. But you are feeling that something's off with this person. Something's not right. Don't second guess your intuition. Trust yourself. Trust that gut feeling. The truth is going to come to light eventually. We have come to me attracting like a rose. Receive abundance desires. Okay, a lot of people have got their eyes on you at the moment, Pisces. They're seeing you and it's the way that you're focusing on yourself, the way that you are loving yourself. You're attracting people. It's making people want somebody like you in their life. And I think it's because they see how much you believe. They see that you reach for the stars. You go after things that a lot of people would think is impossible. And yeah, there's a lot of eyes on you at the moment. A lot of people that want to take things to the next level and I don't think that you're interested at the moment I'm getting a strong feeling that you've been there done that you've had your relationships and this is a point for you where you're trying to focus on yourself and what you're going to build if you are with somebody at the moment then yeah you could just be attracting a lot of attention and you know sometimes when you are with somebody it can it can make other people even more intrigued. It's like they want it because they know they can't have it. But I do see here that people have a lot of desire for you. They could be thinking about you, imagining certain scenarios in their mind, wondering whether they should admit to you how they feel. Let's have a look into your future. What is coming up for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, okay cards came out we have the seven of wands the ace of wands the two of pentacles the 
Queen of Pentacles and the Fool. Okay. I still see you focusing on you here. If you have a look at this, like all these people, they're trying to come towards you, but you're protecting your energy. You know how powerful energy is and how you need to be surrounded by the right people. Otherwise, this can impact the way that you start to view your life, yourself, because we absorb other people's energies. And here I do see you, you know, you're juggling things. You could have multiple projects going on here in the future. Something that you're working on Something that taps into your inner child, to your creative abilities. You're going to start to notice this is going to get bigger and bigger. Something that may have started off that you're just doing it for fun. You're doing it because it makes you happy. It gives you that passion. But actually, it's becoming something that you are so proud of. And there are a lot of different things I see here. It's like you have more than one thing that's going on and you're managing to juggle that. And the reason you're doing so well at this is because you are really protecting yourself at the moment. You're not letting anybody else interfere with what it is that you're trying to work on. Okay, a few more just came out. We have Judgment, Nine of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Pisces, you've got options here in the future. You really do. There's some type of chapter that you're coming to a close on. Something that you feel you have outgrown. You've put in all of the work and effort that you can in this situation. And you know now that it's time to move forward into something different. Now, with judgment being here, I really do feel as though there's been some type of test in your life. And you're passing it here in the future. I can see here that there's something that you had to have thrown at you. It could be this current situation. It really could. Spirit wanted to see how far you've come. If you were going to pass this test, if you were going to keep on going when things got hard and you're passing that here, Pisces, there's something about the way that you focus on the good and you don't allow your mind to run wild for too long. That is bringing balance into your life now don't get me wrong i see in your current energies there is a lot of overthinking but you always come back to this strength and that's why we have this card here in your current energy it's because no matter what you have going on you know you're going to get yourself out of it you know that it's not forever you look back on the hard times that you've been through in your life and how you managed to overcome that and that's what keeps you going. We have plant yourself here, integration, embodiment, grounded action. Okay, so yeah, there's going to be something in the future coming up for you that is going to bring you a lot of balance. You're going to feel very grounded and there's going to be signs around you that are telling you you're in the right place and you're going to feel it. You're not going to have that urge to find more or to do more. You're going to feel settled. You're going to feel like you know you're on the right path. And that's going to allow you to have fun with it, to enjoy your life with this carefree, like, spirit type of attitude. And I think that's good for you, Pisces, because for a long time in your past, you were searching for something more and you felt out of place. But now, or in the future, you're going to be feeling... Like, you know you are where you need to be. We have the Seven of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. Okay. Somebody's going to tell you something here in the future that you're not going to like. And this person, I get the feeling that you know them. You could have put up with opinions that they had given you before and not really said anything. You may have allowed this person to disrespect you in some ways because you wanted to see the best in them. You wanted to believe that they didn't have bad intentions. Now, this person is going to say something to you 
And yeah, we've got the King of Swords here. You're going to really tell them how it is. You're not going to hold back. And it's going to shock this person. They're going to be very surprised that Pisces is standing up for themselves and they're not just going to agree and go along with something. So whoever this is, this person hasn't seen you in a while. They remember you the way that things left off. And it's going to be a big surprise for them when they come back in and you've gone through all of this, this spiritual journey, this growth, this healing, and you know now, you see straight through people. You know how to listen to your gut feeling. You don't hold back from that anymore. You don't give chances when you can tell your body and spirit is trying to tell you that something is wrong. And this person, they're going to do something, say something that before maybe you would have listened to, you would have questioned your own gut feeling. This time round, you're not having it. And I think this person, they need to hear what you have to say. It's going to be not only a lesson for you, but a lesson for them. So yeah, Pisces, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.